In the earliest days of rap records, there were two drummers who were responsible for the beats on the majority of their records released between 1979 and 1982. One of these drummers was the legendary Pumpkin, and the other was the great Keith LeBlanc. I mean, it all started at Sugar Hill, really, because I would play with a click track. And um, I would play in back of the click track so I could always hear it. And no one else had the click track, and it, everybody would speed up at the end of the song. It was a natural thing. So I had that little bit of room where I could push it just a little bit and keep the band together. One, he was a white guy who played like a black guy, and that, that blew me away. Not only did he play on all your favorite Sugar Hill Gang records and Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five records and Sequence records and Treacherous Three records and Crash Crew records, as the only white member of an all-black band recording for a black-owned independent record label, Keith would find the experience both challenging and educational. Being at Sugar Hill was my first dose of reverse racism, really. I was the white boy. To most people there, I was a white boy, except the band. You know, Joe Robinson, he, he used to call me the white boy. Road manager for first years called me the white boy in front of everybody, even me. He never called me by my name. It used to make me angry. Um, cause, not the reverse racism, cause I, I kind of figured, well, you know, white people kind of deserve that. You know, as far as I was concerned, that's the way I felt. I kind of looked at like, okay, I'm feeling what a black man feels every day in America. When the drum machine became the dominant form of production on rap records in 1983, Keith was amongst those leading the charge, embracing and mastering the Oberheim DMX and the Lindrum. I knew those drum programs were dope and they were very hip hop adjacent, but the boom, boom, ta, ta, boom, boom, ta. That's Keith. It's your four scratch. That's Keith. You know, he's Beatmaster, lip service. That's Keith. Malcolm X, no sellout. That's Keith. 